You are watching the New American Media. Hi everybody, Brian Engelman with the New American Media. I'm pleased to be joined with Duncan over at Schechter Guitar Research. Duncan, nice to see you, sir. How's it going, Brian? Living the dream. Uh, welcome to 2016 NAM. I don't know, it's our 15th or 20th NAM that we've been to. They go by so fast, right? How, how many have you been to? Uh, this is my fourth. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm still a little bit of a newbie, but uh, I'm enjoying it and having a good time, you know? Excellent. So let's see what some of the new stuff is that Schechter has to offer this year. Right. So this is our 40th anniversary this year for Schechter. So we made a couple of commemorative pieces. We got our C1, our Avenger, and our Tempest. They've all got USA custom shop pickups in them. They have the new Ernie Ball compensated nut. And... Uh, Really great new finish, uh, custom engraving on this uh, pickup cover. So these are only going to be available this year. We're also oh, so it's only available this year. Yeah, well, the 40th anniversaries, yes, only this year. So these are going to be essentially Lim limited editions. Limited number, how many? Uh, not a limited number, but limited to just. They're going to run as far as they sell this year, and then it stops. Gotcha. Yes, okay. Exactly, and then we're expanding our custom line. So we got the C1 custom, Solo 2 custom. And then we threw in the Avenger Custom and the V1 Custom. So these all also have Schechter Custom Shop pickups in them, Pasadena and Pasadena Plus system. They also have the compensated Ernie Ball Nut, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length. And something that's really nice is the satin back of the neck so your hands don't get stuck on the back of the neck. Oh. It's really nice. Yeah, check it out. Satin back. Yeah. Now with one hand, I'm being careful here, of course. Interesting. Yeah. And so the, the the appeal there is that they don't get stuck. It's right, right. So a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people, they play and they say, oh, I just wish, you know, my hands weren't getting stuck on the back of the neck. And they'll take some sandpaper and they'll sand it down themselves. And it kind of looks a little... They'll take the finish off. And right, exactly. And so the way we do this, this is actually its own finish. It's not been sanded down. This is it's a special kind of finish. Uh, yeah, and it's just... Yeah, you can see where it kind of starts and stops there. Right, exactly. And it's just so much more comfortable and so much easier. Uh, plus, we've got a really good upper fret access, which is not common on uh, a guitar of this sort. And, and you mean the access where the cutaways right here? Right, at. right. It's all scooped away in the back here, so you can oh, really look get at your that. hand See in that? there. That's a good idea. It's a nice innovation. Yeah, yeah. So then I'll, I'll show you around on the other side some more. New Let's work. take a look. Right over here, so let's take a look at this wall. All right, well, let's go that way. All right, so we got the new Keith Marrow signature. This is the KM6 Mark II and the KM7 Mark II. So there's just been a couple of changes from last year's model. So we got a flat top with a really comfy bevel here. We've upgraded the uh, potentiometer here. It's all still clean and simple. We got a neck through design with swamp ash wings and a full maple Explain top. the neck through? Neck through. So the neck is five pieces of wood glued together and it goes all the way from top to bottom. So it's one piece and that one piece is there, right? Right, right. So it's all just, this is all just one solid strip. And so these are five separate pieces that are glued together. So we have maple, wenge, then a small center decorative strip of maple. Wenge again and maple. It's much more robust than your typical neck. A three piece is very strong and a five piece is stronger. So this is a five piece neck through. We've got glow in the dark side on inlays, stainless. Now the glow, the glow in the dark inlays, do you get a lot of feedback that that's helpful or? Absolutely, it's super helpful. I mean, a lot of folks, they get kind of lost on stage. You're playing, it's really dark, you're not used to it so much. Right. You know, you you really need to you to know where you're at. Well, I, I know some of the some of the handguns have it as well. So you know, a lot of people have it. If the glass breaks at three in the morning, you know, you're half asleep and you can't see, and it's pitch mm -hmm. black, and it at least has the glow in the dark sights to give you something there. Right. Kind of the similar concept when you're similar on stage concept, and exactly. weird lighting, weird location. They're not used to it. Very cool. Yeah, that's exactly right. Another cool thing for these models is the truss rod adjusting location is here, much easier access. Um, we've also got the Ernie Ball compensated nut on these guys too. Uh, so it's just, it's like a custom shop guitar, but you know, street price. Nice. Nice. All right, what else do we have? 
What else have we got? Well, uh, new Jeff Loomis signature model. This is metal. <laughs> so Jeff Loomis, he's with Arch Enemy now, and he needed a six-string guitar that was going to be, you know, Swedish mellow death. You know what I mean? So this guitar screams... What would you call it? Swedish mellow death? Yeah, melodic death metal. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So he's got new uh, signature Seymour Duncan pickups. These are active pickups that Jeff Loomis helped design. They're like his tone, right. they're very aggressive sound. And that's the thing with the signature models. It's right. like if you find your favorite band and you want to get that style and that sound, I mean, you could spend a lifetime trying to do it on your own and add different plugins right. and different effects, or you just get one that they've put together and go, this is going to give you kind of what I do, go. Right, exactly. That's exactly the case. And, you know, having uh, this 1500 series bridge, which is exclusive to Schechter, it's just an upgraded Floyd Rose. So we've got a redesigned knife edge, stainless steel screws, and a push-in, pull-out tram arm. It's just really nice, really user-friendly. Um, if we take a look at the back here, we'll see more glow-in-the-dark side dot. And, and once again, the, the non-stick, is am I seeing that? Well, that's correct. We got the satin back of the neck satin on this guy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, let's see. What else do we got on this guy? Oh, stainless steel frets again. So that's just, again, something you don't see on non-custom shop guitars, but you see it on this guy. Very cool. Yeah. And I'll point you just in one more direction over here. This is a new shape we got. This is our E1. We've been getting constant requests for this style of guitar. Well, it's a little similar to, to the Flying V that I have. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously you fill in the, the V, but it's got right. that kind of lightning bolt thing going on. Right, exactly. So people have been asking for this, so we kind of gave this the Schecter treatment. It's got Schecter Custom Shop pickups again, uh, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length, except this joint here is really nice easier access to the upper it's frets. It's beveled down again. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then it... Oh, you know what, that, that reminds me of the, the Explorer that I used to have, not the, that's what I meant to say. Right, right, right. And so the cutaways here, they're, they're ergonomic, so it gives you room for your uh, cable. And then the cutaway here is just for better Explain the ergonomics access. there? What do you oh, mean? it's just, uh, you know, the cable comes in right there and then it wraps around. That way it's just not sticking out as much. Designed for that problem with the... It, you guys have put some thought into this, obviously. Oh, little little tweaks and twists and exactly. adjustments to constantly keep trying to make a better guitar. Exactly. The devil's in the details, you know what exactly. I mean? That's where you got to pay attention to and that's what matters. Excellent. All right, so tell people where they can find out more about this, Duncan. Uh, you can find more about all these guitars at www.schechterguitars.com. Spell that? Uh, S-C-H-E-C-T-E-R-G-U-I-T-A-R-S. Just the Schechter part. It's S-C-H-E-C-T-E-R. Mm -hmm. Until they've done it a hundred times. Right. It's one of those those easily misspelled company names. Schechter. It's like, it's the German sh. Sch. Schechter. Sch. <laughs> All right, Duncan, thank you very much for your time. Right, Appreciate it, so much, sir. Brian.